Hello and welcome back once again. This is Obi Martha. Welcome to Martha's World. Um, today I will be showing you how to make the best soy beans milk powder. Um, soy beans is a, a very good um, source of protein, but why a lot of people avoid it, especially here in the United States, is because is mostly GMO modified but in Africa soya beans is a very staple amongst um, people with young children I used it a lot for my children when they were growing up a whole lot and um, making the milk is not really easy and it doesn't keep for so long especially with the issue of um, storage and preservation so making the powder is a lot lots more better but i see it. first step we're going to put our water on the stove and bring it to a boil now you make sure your soybeans is picked out in case you have dirt stones in it you make sure it is um picked out and washed So my water is boiling i'm done washing the much i can wash the skin out i'm going to now basically not boiling but i'm just gonna cook it so this is gonna boil for at least 30 minutes or until i believe it is properly um, cooked this has been cooking for about an hour now so it is ready this step is very 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 important uh, so please pay attention because this is where it's going to decide whether your soy uh, milk powder comes out good or it goes bad now um there are three ways you can dry this you can either do it in the dehydrator which is what i'm going to do or you can dry it in the oven at 200 degrees um 200 degrees um fahrenheit uh you want to be stirring it occasionally so that it doesn't burn it's not really gonna burn but you, you need to keep like once in a while you stay you open the oven you stir it and then until it dries really dry and then the third part is you can dry it in the sun but for you to get a good result because this thing needs to at least dry out the water the first day which is very very important if not you run the risk of it going bad the second day if it doesn't dry out water the first day if you're using the sun so if you're going to be doing it um if you're going to be using drying it in the sun i will advise that you do this the night before leave it in the sieve to drip water and first thing in the morning you want to spread it out before the sun comes out and then you want to use like a cloth or something 
to cover it because of dust, flies, and debris uh, settling on it. Okay. has been drying practically all day but it still has not dried you have to um, test the dryness so I'm still gonna leave it for most of the night and maybe by morning it should be um, really really dry now if you want to flavor your soy milk this is the part you add flavor maybe you just bring out a tray now that it is this dry so that your flavor does not sit at the bottom you um, push the soy the soybeans together sprinkle your flavor on it mix it in and then continue um, drying it so that it dries with the soybeans all right maybe I want to add like vanilla flavor or any flavor at all that I want my soy milk to have this is the part where I add it in so I'm just gonna continue drying it it's all dried out you can hear the sound you can even like um, sometimes I try breaking it to make sure it's dry So I'm done blending. You can blend it um, maybe in a, uh, in a dry blender or if you have um, a bigger blender. But this thing is not well blended. You can hardly really blend um, soybeans with all these blenders and really blend them well. Except you go to the commercial uh, millers where you do. But even when I did go to the commercial millers, I always um, come back and do this last step so if you blended it and it's not well blended like this one there's a step you have to take so that you can do a second blend and I'm gonna show you that step is optional but it's very very important so I will advise that you do it I just um, sieved some so that I could show you the difference. This is the one that is blended. This is what I sieved out of it. You can see the texture and everything is smoother. And then this is um, the remnant from the sieving, but this is still the soy um, milk powder. So what you just have to do is to go blend this again and sieve it again until everything has been sieved out because eventually you're going to get them all like this even the ones you blend in the popular local mill i still sieve it it's really really finely blended but i still sieve it and i still sieve something out of it so we're going to make some milk <laughs> 